Holy shit guys, an AI just drew this, and this, and this, and this. So Gaugan 2 is a new AI created by NVIDIA, and it's one of the first generative adversarial networks that can paint images based on multiple modalities. So they import text, segmentation, style, and well, the image itself or various inputs from a sketch that you can draw. We'll show you this in a second so you can draw these images yourself with their web demo. Let's just dive in and show you their amazing AI. So it's the second version as Gaugan 2 actually kind of says. It has several input utilizations so you can choose between segmentation, sketch, image and text or any combination of those four which makes it truly a cool new and very usable tool. Let's just start with a text mountain on a sunny day. You can choose here like some style. Let's go with this one. I actually have to accept the user agreement. And there we go. It takes a second and we already see it looks kind of amazing. You can now bring over this image over here and say like, I mean, I, I don't like, uh, let's say the lakes over here. So all you have to do is turn off the segmentation and scratch those parts. Let's try it up for a second here, maybe a bit more brush. Let's maybe regenerate that part. Uh, let's maybe take the lake out completely. Let's see how that works. So we'll take now the image as a base and also the text and let's retry that here. takes a second and we see the lake is gone which is really cool I mean this is kind of crazy if I regenerate this now again it may change actually and the lakes are maybe back you, you never know for sure so it actually kind of sticked with what it chose let's not say we actually don't want this to be like some hilly things here and we actually want to fill it with buildings we can turn on the segmentation mask let's shortly generate that here and what is a segmentation mask let's turn off the image to explain that uh, second here so a segmentation mask is basically a high level map of where certain aspects of an image are going so we see this uh, greenish thing is probably hills and uh, I think this green here is like uh, houses and this is probably hills and this is probably like sand or something and never sure but basically you can choose here whatever you want there to be and just paint it there so let's go with some, maybe some plants. Uh, maybe we want a forest here, right? We just want a forest. Oh, let's actually, let's see here are trees, yeah, right? Some happy little trees, just like Boss Bros always said. You can sometimes try to draw like actual forms into it, but it won't always work. But let, let's actually go full scale here and say we want a smiley. Maybe, maybe it does us this favor. So generally when you draw an input it's not gonna go like all in on it and do like everything you ever want it to do. Here for example we see this creepy little smile popping up and I mean quite honestly what I input here is a bit of a nonsense request. I think I wanted to have something that they don't have in their training set next to each other which then turns out to be this rather hilarious images. If we however go here for example with some... Oh, we have to turn off the image that may actually better work. Yeah, So I now kind of cut what we had here and it works terrible. So I think what we can clearly see, it often does an amazing job. As soon as you import strange things, it will just basically render bullshitness to the extreme. Let's maybe try in general something completely different just to show you that it can also do like tropical beach on a mystical morning. Sometimes it, it's quite great at it. I mean, like, this is... Yeah, it actually did what I wanted it to do. Okay, like, <laughs> let's actually take that image. It did a great job at out-correcting that bullshit that I wrote, which is lovely, you know? So maybe you don't like... Let's see, maybe you want here a bit more of a... I don't know, a forest or so? Let's go again with the segmentation mask. So let's... This button here actually turns on or like writes you a segmentation. Oh, actually a sketch now. 
Let's turn off the sketch here. It's turned off. So, oh, second. So this is the segmentation map that has been generated from this image. It's not like exported from the AI itself. It's really just generated from the image and you can change various things here. What else do we got here? Let's maybe take uh, yeah, snow probably won't work. So generally if you're trying to put things next to each other that they don't know well, it's not gonna work that great. But as soon as you choose something that may be in the training set, it actually does a great job at it. So let's here cut here a corner of uh, flowers and maybe put some like grass in it that, that may actually do the job. Let's uh, regenerate that one just from a segmentation map this time. It may change the entire image, but I mean, it's kind of amazing. Look at this flowery uh, island in this tropical world. It just looks lovely. And I mean, if you look very closely into the image, you'll notice quite often it's kind of garbage in the sense that the details don't add up from a like human logical perspective. Cheers guys, this was just a very short overview of this tool. If you never again want to miss a cool AI tool like this one, definitely hit subscribe and also like so everybody else knows about these amazing tools. Cheers and see you next week.